going on, everybody? Uh, we are quickly approaching the holidays, and I wanted to basically go through a feature of Lightburn that not a lot of people use. And it will help you stay on top of your customer requests and their specifics that, um, that you tend to have to refer back to emails or, um, or other lines of communication with them. So right now we're working on a, um, a salon's tumbler order where we're going to be putting on all of the, the names of, of all of the hairdressers and, and stylists and stuff like that. So the customer wants a very specific font. She wants to make sure that it's all lowercase and we're going to be putting them on the cup in a, in a specific um, section of the cup. So what I would typically do, uh, so I don't forget, or if you have lots of people working for you so they don't forget, um, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to go to Show Notes. And once we get there, um, we can type in uh, Customer, Font Choice, and uh, as we can see above, uh, Soul Wave. And then if we skip down, uh, names in lowercase. So before I go further, uh, you have this uh, button selection on the bottom, show on file open. So we can leave it as notes that are hidden and we would have to go to them to check it or we can click it on and then every time we open that file, which I'll show you at the end of the video, um, it'll pop up and then remind us before we even get started doing anything with the project, it'll pop up as a basically like a warning window. Position that we want it, she wants it in the top middle portion. On a 30 ounce tumbler. I mean, if you wanted to get really specific and you wanted to say she wants it an inch and a half down, um, you know, you can put all of this stuff in here to make sure that you remember um, I'm getting old and I need these types of tips and tricks to, to help me <laughs> remember some of the client's requests. So I'm not always going back and forth between emails. I don't know about you, but I get lots of requests from Instagram, Facebook, um, email, website. So managing all of these lines of communication is difficult sometimes. And if we're putting them directly into the graphic that we're using for the customer, it's going to help you get it right the first time. Um, it, I mean, having all these different lines, it's very easy to mess up. Um, ask me how I know. Um, also, if you wanted to put in how we clean it, clean with magic eraser. And solution. And for me, that solution is 60, 40 denatured alcohol and acetone. Click OK. We have to save the file now because we did make a change. This that constitutes as a change to the file. So if you click save, um, it should ask you, would you like to save the changes? Uh, we just did that. So if you try to exit out of it without doing that, uh, you are saving a new portion of the file. So it's going to notice that you changed something. We go to recent projects and we click on that. And automatically when we open the file, it's going to pop up with the notes that we have for that customer, making it that much easier to remember exactly what's going on and what you have to do for this client. I hope that helps and, and keeps you guys on track Hopefully you have much success in this holiday season. Uh, since people aren't going out and shopping, maybe, they, uh, maybe they'll come to some of us small businesses and, and support us. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe and like button. It helps us create more content for you. And we'll see you on the next video.